you today. This is actually a, the second time we're doing Facebook Live. The first time we did, I think it was really just a test to see if this thing really works. And now I notice that uh, lots of folks are using this medium as a great way to communicate uh, with people who have similar interests. So today I just briefly want to talk about the impact that I, I believe will, will be forthcoming as it relates to what Brexit, the British leaving the, uh, the European market, will have on the South Florida real estate. And particularly, I think the biggest impact will be on on, on the, the exchange rates of currencies. I think that uh, the dollar is going to continue to be uh, strong, if not even stronger than it currently is, which is going to make it more difficult for folks, particularly from Europe, uh, to uh, buy uh, high-end real estate in, in Florida. And uh, their value, the valuations of, of their purchasing power is going to diminish. Um, I think trade in general is probably going to diminish, in part because we're going to have to have all these new trade deals that British Britain, Britain is going to have to put together with uh, their, their former... Uh, European Union members, and so overall, I think you're going to see two effects. One, you're going to see a slowdown in trade to some extent, and two, you're going to see uh, the dollar uh, continuing to go up in value, which may be great for us to go visit England. It's been very expensive to do that over the years in the past, and now is probably a good time to do it. But at the same time, it'll be difficult for uh, folks in Europe who were uh, accustomed to buying uh, Florida real estate, particularly high-end stuff, as a place to uh, to protect their their, their resources. Uh, they may find that, that the, the values are are not there now and that are just going to be too expensive for them. So what I think we're going to see is less demand. Less demand means a, a softer market. Supply will probably remain the same. Uh, maybe supply will, will uh, people will pull some, some stuff off the market. But overall, I think we're going to see prices probably drift downward, particularly in the high-end uh, portion of, uh, of the South Florida market and, and, and other parts of Florida that have been a bit frothy. Uh, what it means for the average person, probably not very much. I, I don't think that we have as much international engagement in, in the general real estate market in Florida. We do in some locations from South America, but those issues have been previously addressed. But in, in terms of what's happening today and, and Brexit, I think that if you're selling, you need to reassess your, your prospects. If you're buying, I think you, you want to sharpen your, your pencil. Um, is there anyone out there that has any questions? Or You have about two viewers, oh, okay. so people are concerned about South Florida real estate, obviously. Right. So anyway, uh, if, uh, if you have any comments or questions, please just leave them, and we'll be glad to, to respond. Uh, this is Roy Alpenheim from The Trenches, and thanks for uh, joining us on Facebook Live. Thanks very much.